What's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. Today, we're installing something on the road bike that I've had on my mountain bike for a long time. But before we get into today's video, if you're new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you're already subscribed, make sure that little bell icon next to that is checked off. That we get notified every time I upload. That we didn't miss any of this awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So we are on to the final stretch of the road bike rebuild. And that is going to be installing our TOGS, our road TOGS. So if you don't know what TOGS are, those are the thumb over grip system is what it stands for. And that's the company name is TOGS. I've run those on my Superfly for a long time. And essentially what those do is it's called a thumb over grip system. It essentially allows you to put your thumbs on top of the grips while still having a solid grasp of the handlebars. Works pretty good. It's kind of a similar thought process to the old school bar ends that you can see on bikes, but farther in, a little bit smaller, and they work really good. And I've been very happy with them on the Superfly and I will continue to keep running them. However, I think it was last year, the year before, they came out with a road version, a road TOGS, and I got a set right here. So, as you can see, nice little box. I like the box they come in. It's like you're getting a ring from them. I like it. I like it. And we got these fancy little road TOGS, just like that, that we can mount up to our road bike and we can get some TOGS on there. So, what's the point on a road bike? Does it go up here near the top with bar tape or how does it work? Well, not quite the same as a mountain bike where it's a thumb over grip system. What these allow you to do, and I'll read this off of their webpage because I actually had to look it up and figure out what exactly it was they had, what exactly it was. But essentially, road togs increase control, comfort, and sprinting in the drops. Great for distance riding and racing. So, kind of goes in this drop section here. And so when you're in the drops, normally you're kind of on the bottom of them and you don't really have, you know, sometimes you might feel like you don't have quite the control you want while you're down there. These allow you to hook your, th hook your thumbs over those and have a little bit more control while you're in the drops. Kind of nice. I really don't ride in the drops that often myself, partially because of that. You don't be, I don't feel super stable in the drops and that's something that comes with time. But for the rest of us, it's kind of a nice thing to have. These are from my good friends at Togs. These are car carbon fiber. I think it's like 40% carbon fiber. So as soon as you come up, you get your little pot, you get a little box like this. You got your little Togs here. Sadly, they didn't have the logos on them at the time, but that's okay. They got those. You get your little clamps and your screws, and these ones do use a little tiny Torx bit, which is different. So they use a little Torx bit in there, and then underneath there, you have your little Torx wrench, which is awesome, because I don't know if I have a Torx that small. So that's good there, and then of course, last thing in there, we got the instructions if you need the instructions. So that is awesome. So we got those, we're of course gonna be installing those, and then to go with those, we of course got their little gravel cushions that go on them. So these are a little extra cushion and grip for the togs. Give it a little more comfort while you're down in the drops. I'm kind of a comfort guy on a road bike. I'd rather just be comfortable when we're riding long distances. So we went ahead and got these and these ones just slide right over them. So we will get these installed once everything is all done on here. So essentially we got the little clamps here. I'm trying not to lose anything. They pack them tight in this bag, which is good. All right, so you got your little clamp thing here. Get our tog and there should be one that's marked R. Normally you'd have the logo facing you, in this case, R for right. And they're essentially gonna mount up just like so on your bars. So let's come a little closer to the bars, let's kinda line them up, show you where they're supposed to go, and we'll talk about getting them fully installed. Okay, so they do give you an extra screw, so that's pretty nice to give you an extra screw, so in case you drop one of these guys, you don't have to try and find one at a hardware store. I don't, I don't know if you could find these, that's, that's nice. Come with an extra screw, just in case you drop one, you lose it. So very nice thing there. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab a tog. So we got the one that says R on there, and we're gonna go ahead and we're just going to slide it up the bars some. And like I said, this is made for support while you're in the drop, so while you're down in this section here. So what we're going to wanna do and what they recommend is pretty much line this up with the bottom of your brake lever is what they recommend. Might be a little more tricky than I thought, let's see. So store that guy down there. So let's kind of put it like right here, I think. Yeah, that's not bad. So that's essentially how it's gonna go right there. So you can tell my thumb can rest on that. It still has a good grip to the bar versus just kind of standard. You feel like you're just gripping yourself and you can just slide off. So that's pretty nice right there. And I can still, and from, let's go up just a little bit, I think. And from there, you can still reach our brake lever and grab our brake lever to use our brakes or shift or whatever we need to do. I don't like that, okay, cool. So these guys, you don't have to tighten down very much. I think it says like two Newton meters or something. So there's one tog. Yeah, that feels pretty good, okay. So same deal here, slide them up. I'm gonna get this at least a little tighter so it'll hold itself. These are a little trickier to install than the mountain bike togs. I'll say that, the mountain bike togs are very simple to install. 
They're all made of this resin, whatever you want to call it stuff. So they don't move around. They actually get held pretty straight. All right, so here we go, got them installed. I'm gonna put it on the ground, just make sure everything feels all right. And then we'll come right back and we'll start getting them fully wrapped into the bars. Okay, so I gave them a shot. Those feel good. I like the feeling of those. These feel good right where they are. So from there, you just pretty much have to rewrap your bars. Now, I'm not gonna rewrap them on camera. I'm not gonna rewrap them on camera. I've already done this before. <laughs> I've done this before on camera. I'm gonna use the same style tape, the ESI RCT wrap. That's the stuff I like. We're just going black this time. So same general, the same general practices as I've done before. I have a whole video where I wrap the bars red. And honestly, I can't do much better than that video. That video works really good and looks really good too. So I'm not gonna do that again. We're just gonna wrap them off camera, but you have a couple different options for the togs. So number one, the way we're gonna go with, you can wrap your tog into the bars. So you want to pretty much leave it as leave it attached as it is here, and you're pretty much gonna wrap your bar tape right around that. I feel like that's the cleanest way to make a look is to have it wrapped into your bar tape. So it looks like it's just sticking out. That's not as obvious of a sore thumb as this would be just by itself. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. The other way is just to put a piece of tape on this, take off the tog, and then wrap just the silver part underneath the tape and pretty much have the little nub sticking off. That way you can put the tog on the top. I guess if you needed to replace them, that might work better, but I'm not worried about that. I want it to look clean on this bike, so we're gonna do it like this and just wrap straight over the togs. But let me get these bars wrapped and we'll show you the finished product. So here we go, we got it all set, ready to go. We got our new togs with the gravel covers installed along with our new ESI RCT bar tape on here. and. Um, it looks sick. It looks good. It looks really good. So I really like these. With the gravel covers on, it actually makes them feel a little more secure, in my opinion, versus without them. Without them, it was just kind of a solid plastic nub, and you know, it was okay. You know, it definitely seemed like it would do it. This feels like you're not going to slip off of that. It feels like it got a lot more grip and function, honestly. It makes it feel more comfortable. Of course, I haven't ridden yet because it's snowing outside currently, but I think our bike is essentially just about done, and then we got we can finally go take it for a ride outside, try out all the new stuff we've got on here. But if you guys are interested in picking up your own pair of road togs, I will have a link in the description down below. Check them out. They are amazing products. I love all their stuff, whether that's the road togs or the mountain togs. They're amazing. If you did like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Love chatting with you guys. Love answering questions you guys have. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.